legislation as well. Our Josh Hinkle is tracking what you all are talking about, and let's go to him now. What are the issues you're seeing? Well, people know that this tax won't go to actually build the medical school, but what happens if Prop 1 fails to the medical school? The question was, uh, what happens uh, if Prop 1 fails at the ballot box? Well, I guess we go to Plan B, and I'm not sure we've figured out exactly what Plan B would be. But what we'll miss is, prob is bringing back $130 million a year for the next five years to this community, and that's a big miss. That's your tax dollars coming back, that leverage, coming back to this community rather than going to some other community, possibly in some other state. Josh, another question? People are wondering about the opposition to this tax. What does that look like right now here in Austin? We've seen some signs around town uh, vote against the health care bill. Well, someone asked me the other day at a neighborhood meeting, what was the downside to this bill? And, you know, I've, I've really studied it a lot. I've studied the whole project. I can't find any downsides, except if, unless you oppose the five cent, eight dollars and fifty cents a month uh, tax increase. It just brings too many things to this community, uh, from economic development to better health care, to cutting edge, edge, uh, edge health care, your own tax dollars back. So I have to say, I can't find any downside. Now, I know a lot of people in my age group are opposed to it, and I think that's really short-sighted because, you know, five, six years from now, we're not going to have access to the physicians that we need. You know, we access more health care needs than other, other folks in the population. So I do think that's very short-sighted. They may think they have Medicare now, but what happens when all of the doctors stop taking Medicare? Um, I also want to add that our current funding for the indigent, the poor, and the very poor, even the homeless. There was a lady a few weeks ago, or a little while ago, that died in Duncan Park asleep. She was homeless on a bench stool. She was attacked. So we have needs that we are not currently addressing that additional funding will help us to do that. Robert, well, I, I think another issue, if I could bring it up, sure. is that when you look at what this project does to save money, you know, it treats the people before they get really, really sick. But also, if you look at the Travis County Jail, I guess the majority of the people there have mental health issues. And if those were treated at the right time and the right place, think of the cost you could save in your criminal justice system. We do need to take a quick break now, but when we come back, we have much more to talk about, a look at a decision that could change how you choose the people who represent you at City Hall. And the new effort to face the rising cost of living in Austin. One ballot item promises to make it easier to help people find places to live. But first, it's one of the biggest complaints you all know about in Austin traffic. Our panel of experts looks at the multi-million dollar plan to get you moving again.